Hey guys, we're getting so close to the Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge and I wanted to play one of my favorite uh, forehand videos I did a while back. Oh my gosh, look who's, who is that in the background? Who is that in the background? It's hey me. Matt, come on in. I'm about to play them one of my favorite forehand videos from the past. Awesome. In celebration of we're getting ready for the seven day Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge coming in March. You're going to love it. If you're watching this video before uh, March, the end of February, you can get both the forehand challenge and the seven day serve challenge for 47 bucks. Enjoy did, this did video and sign up. That I was stroking my forehand out there. Matt looked incredible. Court. He's upgraded his forehand. Do you know who I credit my forehand? Peter Freeman. And Roger Federer, the two of them. All right, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Pete from Crunch Time Coaching here and today I've got five drills I'm going to give you on the forehand to create massive power. And the great thing about these drills is it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an advanced player and these are simple and easy to implement. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first let's talk about how we're going to create the power. What we're not going to do is bulk up, get super strong, make super tight muscles. In fact, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to use something called the kinetic chain, which is basically building power from the ground up, and we're going to be doing it in a relaxed and simple manner. And you're going to be surprised how much power you're going to get when you allow yourself to relax. And these moves are really simple. We're just moving piece by piece and our first exercise is called the Steffi Toe Power Drill. Now, if you don't remember who Steffi Graf was, she was one of the best players of all time. And she had amazing footwork as I'm showing you here. And one thing that she did on this video that I noticed is she kept turning her toe. She kept turning her toe as she's hitting as you see this. And so this is the first exercise we're going to do. We're going to work on a toe turn, a Steffi Graf toe turn for massive power. And you're going to see just by adding this simple little thing. Because I find that lots of people with their feet, they're very stiff, they don't move, it kind of stops the rotation, it kind of breaks the kinetic chain right off the bat if you're not doing this. In fact, whenever I have my new pair of shoes, one of the first things to wear out are the toes. The toes is what wears out first, and that's because I'm always turning in. In fact, many tennis players, you watch people play a lot of tennis and they're pretty good players. One of the first things to wear out are the toes. Okay guys, so here we go. This is the Steffi Graf toe turn, and what we're going to do is we're also going to add a picture perfect finish. Now the picture perfect finish is where you stay frozen for three seconds and you hold the perfect traditional follow through, which is over your shoulder. Shoulders. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hit this and watch the toe turn as I go. Remember, this is a power drill, not a control drill. So if some shots fly out on you, that's okay. The key is, is to be relaxed. And you can see there we hit a nice shot. We're holding there for three seconds. Look at that toe turn right there. Getting set, really focusing on the toe as you're hitting these forehands, holding that finish, feeling like you could stay there all day long. And those are three really nice shots. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do, I call it Mr. Twister. So again, we're using the idea of the kinetic chain. We're building up the body and we've already got our toe turn. Now what we're going to do is both toes are going to actually start to turn. This toe right here, my non-dominant uh, leg, see I'm calling my dominant leg my left leg because I'm, I'm loading up here and they coming in but what what I want you to do is turn this toe in and then that toe see turn in again that's helping you load and then explode into the ball load explode and what we're gonna do is I remember when I was in gym class 
one of the things that we did to warm up an exercise which felt so good. Remember, a lot of this power, this easy power is what I want to create for you, is going to come from being relaxed. So one thing we did to warm up in gym class is we had our arms out here straight. I don't know if you guys used to do this. And just going back and forth. So when we do this, our back swing is going to be a little bigger than normal. But the idea is that we're really feeling ourselves loading. And also, look as I do this, when I come here, notice how I'm really showing you my back. Let me just show you this right here. See how you can really see my back and then I'm coming out. So it's really going to help start to use all the major movers in the body to crush power, but not really working that hard. It should be very relaxed. All right, so let's take a look at it from the back. Mr. Twister, as I hit some shots and you're gonna see that I'm super relaxed. Again, this, now that we're making a bigger backswing, it's okay, give yourself the freedom to miss more. Again, we're working on power today, not control. So allow yourself some misses to stay relaxed. A lot of times when you start to, to see some misses go, you tighten up and you just wanna keep the ball in. Free your body up, you're gonna be amazed at how hard you hit some of these shots. Okay, so what we're gonna do for Mr. Twister, again, remember, you're using both the toe, toe to toe, toe to toe. And what I want you to do is you're going to go one, two, and then you're going to drop the ball. Then you're just going to drop the ball and, and let it go. You can either do it off a of bounce, as you're going to see me do, or in the air. I actually think it's easier off the bounce. This is also going to help you with your timing of taking the balls on the rise. Like I said, this might take this. This looks easy, but it's a little bit of an advanced timing. So don't don't be worried if your timing's a little off in the beginning. So we're going to one, two, and then I'm going to come here and three. You see that? And a lot of nice whip and power on that. Okay, that ball's really popping off the string. So we're gonna one, two, and then three. Boom. Kind of like we're at the driving range here, guys. One, two, and three, okay, and then we made that one, so. We're, two, we're one for three and resist the urge to keep the ball, making sure it goes in because then that's going to have you tighten up. So, you know, don't, don't worry if you miss your first couple of shots. Don't think it's about getting the ball in. It's about feeling that ball pop off the strings, where the ball goes in the net, out. You just want to feel that ball pop off the strings. And here we go again. And you can see that without much effort, those balls are really rocking off the racket. Okay, so our next exercise you're really gonna like because you're gonna see some big results with it, and that is the death grip and then let it rip. And very simple, just like it sounds, you're gonna hold the racket in a death grip. Now, this is a power kill. We're holding the racket super tight. That's why people struggle so much when they get nervous in a match because they tend to tighten up and then they're trying so hard and the ball doesn't go anywhere. So what we wanna do is we wanna feel those opposites because the whole idea of this uh, exercise sequence is to have you as relaxed as possible and letting the body take over and, and create 
generate the power for you. So I want you to hold it in a death grip. You're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Now that might seem like a long time, but what I want you to do is as I'm talking here, I'm making my muscles as tight as I can. And then what you're going to do when you feel like you can't hold the racket any tighter, you're almost going to cramp in those hands. You just relax and then right away, go in and hit the shot. Just let a couple rip right after you, whew, that was a big one, right after you hold that racket in a death grip, you're going to let two or three go. Again, don't worry if the ball goes in or out. I'll show you a couple from the back view, from the side view, from the front view, so you can see me getting that death grip and then relax and just let it rip. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm in that death grip. I'm holding the racket as tight as I can. You can see the bicep is flexed, the forearms flexed, wrist is flexed, holding tight, tight, tight. We're really white knuckling the racket right now. And what I'm going to do is once I start to relax, I'm going to use the ideas that we've had, the, the, the toe turns, right? The Mr. Twister and just let it, let it go. And I'm going to fire off three or four in a row. And again, I don't care if it is in or out. So here we go. Now I'm relaxed and I can feel a big difference. In fact, notice how that one flew off, which will happen to you. And then the last one I'm going to hold in that picture perfect finish just so I can really feel that. Okay, so pretty interesting. You saw that first one fly way out because I was holding the racket so tight and when I finally relaxed, I kind of lost all control of the ball. But remember, we're working on power right now. We're not working on control. In fact, the next three balls, I think, did go in. But the cool thing was is all of those shots felt nice and fluid, nice and relaxed. It felt effortless. And that's what I want for you in, this, in these five exercises is that you're starting to feel that effortless power, that you're not even trying with the ball is flying off your racket. And that's the real key to success, to be able to consistently hit the ball hard without hurting yourself. So let's go to exercise number four. Okay, so I really like this next one. I call it the hit and hand off forehand. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit your shot, hit your forehand. Again, people are so tight they even stop their follow throughs. You know, if you're out there and you're falling through to your right, right there, probably a good chance that you're not allowing your racket to come all the way through smoothly. And so this allows you to kind of re a reminder to finish those follow throughs and to stay relaxed. And so the hit and handoff move looks like this. You're going to come here, you're going to hit, and you're going to hand the racket off over the shoulder or if you want to go a little more modern and you can add a little more rotation so it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. You might lose some, some more control if you do this, especially in your direction. Is If you come here, you get ready, you hit and you hand off and you're facing that way. But you will get some more power, especially if you're in that semi-western grip. So I'll show you both. Notice how this follow through is lower than the other one. This is more traditional and your chest is going to be facing more forward at the end. There's more control there. Still plenty of power. If you want to get even more power, you can go a little more modern. By the way, I'm going to give you a free bonus gift, by the way, five videos on the Modern Tennis Makeover. So be looking out for that. But you see here, I can come here, hit, and rotate. Now you see that I'm facing over there. So there's a little more rotation here, which is going to give me more power. Again, I'll demo both the hit and handoff. This is going to allow you to stay relaxed. So all these ideas, as you can see, are building on each other. So here we go. The traditional hit and handoff move. I'm getting set, and I'm going to hit and hand off, and that helps me stay relaxed. You can even go out there and rally with somebody and do this type of stuff. Hit and hand off. Now I'm gonna go a little more modern and I'm going to hit and hand off and be a little more, uh, a little more rotation there at the finish. So here we go, I'm gonna get set, hit, and hand off. And you see that? A little more of a follow through, a little lower right here. Let's try that again. And set, and we're gonna go hit, and hand off and a little more rotation in there, a little lower fall through. Notice how the racket head is also tilted down. 
Just want to show you the difference in rotation from this angle now. So again, going more of that traditional follow through, coming here, chest facing the target, over the shoulder, and hit and hand off. So here we go, here's more of our traditional one. We'll do two in a row. So watch these follow throughs, I'm coming here. Hit and hand off, felt really, really nice. I'm above the shoulder, relaxing there. Chest more to that target. Again, I think you'll get a little more control on this when you hit it that way. Now if you want a little more power, you want to hit a little more modern, you're going to concentrate on hitting, staying lower, longer, coming over here, and finishing, okay? So watch this one. I'm coming here, I'm looking on staying a little lower and out, look at the fall through, those shots still went in, and you can see I'm facing more there. So I'm further along, one more time, getting set, allowing my body to relax here in the core. And that one went really, really big. And look at the follow through. Again, notice how I also, when we're doing this, the racket tip is dipping down, which you'll notice a lot of pros do as well. Okay, so this next one, might unleash the most power, and I don't think I've really seen it anywhere else, so I think you're really gonna enjoy this when you do it, because you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit the ball that hard just by doing this, and I call it the don't hold your breath exercise. So if you've watched tennis for any amount of time, you know that the men and the women, they grunt. They exhale, they make noise when they hit. Lots of times the ladies get, get the, the, the biggest flack for it. But the guys, trust me, listen to someone's matches and they're just as guilty as the ladies. And what they're doing is they're releasing their tension, their stress, their energy into the ball by breathing. And sometimes, especially when we get nervous, we forget to breathe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna challenge you for about 10 to 15 seconds. I really want you to try and fill up your lungs with oxygen, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, and then when you're ready to hit, you're just gonna, you're gonna let it all go. So ready? Here we go. I'm getting ready. I'm gonna. Oh man, that felt good. Let's do another one. Again, ready? That feels so nice. Here we go guys, again you're gonna see how relaxed I am when I finally let it all out. So here we go, I'm gonna go. Oh, so nice. All right, so let's review, and then I'm gonna send you off with your bonus gift, a five-part free training series called the Modern Tennis Makeover. So, exercise number one was the Steffi toe turn. And remember, Steffi Graf, one of the best movers with one of the biggest forehands of all time. She was always using her toes, and she was using the kinetic chain to start the power from the ground up. The next one, number two, 
was Mr. Twister. Now with Mr. Twister, what we're doing, now we're really building up the kinetic chain and we're starting to really get the hips involved for easy power, plus we're still using our feet, so don't forget about that. Number three was the death grip and let it rip. So what we're doing is we are working with opposites. We're being tight, which is a power killer, and then we are relaxing and letting it go. Number four was our hit and handoff exercise. This allows you to make sure that you're having full fluid relaxed follow throughs, not tighten up at the end, which I see a lot of people do. So a really great drill. And then finally, our fifth and final drill was the don't hold your breath exercise. And what we actually did was we held our breath, breath for about 10 to 15 seconds to where you feel like, oh, I'm getting a little uncomfortable here. Then you let it all out and it's just a nice relaxed stroke. So make sure you go out and try all those exercises. Comment below, let me know if they work for you, which ones work, which ones didn't, and if you try and put them all five together, see what happens. Hopefully you won't pass out from holding your breath though, so, so be careful out there. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna play you a preview of a five-part video series that I wanna give you absolutely 100% free today called the Modern Tennis Makeover. It's my gift to you for following me, supporting my videos, so don't forget, like this video, comment, subscribe, We'll see you on future videos. Enjoy the preview. Hey, stop there. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and today, today I wanna give you a modern tennis makeover on the forehand. I've got a five-part free train series that is going to cure most of the problems I see from recreational players over the age of 40. Most recreational players lack the desire to spin parent control they want because of inferior, outdated stroke technique. Funky grips, poor setup, and incorrect swing pass are killing your forehand. Sign up for my free five-part series, Modern Tennis Makeover, and start building a better forehand instantly by watching my first video on core power, which I promise is going to be an eye-opening experience. In video two, watch one of the biggest changes that's happened on the professional tour in the last seven years, used by your favorite pros, Djokovic, Federer, Murray, Nadal, and it's used to dramatically shorten the swing cycle, yet increase racket head speed and power on the ball. In video three, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely murder your approach shot. In video four, I'm gonna show you why not only learning a swing volley is a costly mistake, but I'm also gonna show you how and when to use it. Finally, in video five, I'm gonna show you a disguised toss and lob that's going to have your opponents walking on eggshells every time they approach the net against you. I promise fun, enjoyment, and improvement or your money back. Guys, it's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and a modern forehand to gain. So click here to start training instantly and watch the first video on core power right now. We'll see you inside the free train series.